What are the chances that a massive cryptocurrency exchange is being investigated for insider trading? Well, if we're talking Binance, then 100% because Binance has been investigated for insider trading and is actually being investigated for insider trading. Hey guys, this is Andre from Cryptomaton and in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit about how me and a few other people came across something potentially suspicious on the Binance announcement page while testing my latest cryptocurrency trading bot. If you've been following this channel along, you'll know that I've been testing a cryptocurrency trading algorithm that's supposed to scan the Binance announcement page and whenever it detects a new coin listing, for example, Binance will list chess, it will go and buy this new coin on gate.io. If you haven't been following my channel, now this is a great time to subscribe and to hit that notification bell and that like button. Now let's jump into it. Okay, so here's the reason why I'm making such a big fuss around this strategy. You will see here on the left, I have the chart for FIDA USDT, according to CoinMarketCap. Now below this is the announcement for FIDA. It's an announcement that Binance will be listing FIDA at 329. Okay, now it just happens so that this huge increase here coincides with the announcement time. So bear in mind, this is not the time the coins listed on Binance, but the time the announcement is made. I've mentioned this in my previous video briefly, but essentially what I thought is happening is that people are looking at this announcement and then they're just going hard FOMOing into this coin on separate exchanges, which may still very well be the case. Okay, so with this in mind, I built a bot that's supposed to look at the announcement page and then go and buy this coin on Gate.io if it is available. Now, obviously, what's really important here is that the speed of execution is accurate and we can measure this by looking at the timestamp and then check when our bot made the first transaction. So I've uh, open sourced this, I've tried it a little bit as well as a few people on here and the results were quite different. The bot for all intents and purposes has been observed to function as it should so the Binance timestamp for the new listing that I'm about to show you is not what it should have been. So with all of that implemented in code, it was just now a matter of running the bot and waiting for Binance to announce a new coin. One eternity later. Binance actually announced that they will list tranches or chess in the innovation zone. All right, so what happened here is the bot actually bought trenches. It did. It detected the coin on the announcement page, it was able to pull the symbol and it was able to send the symbol to Gate.io to place a trade. But it didn't make money. And upon looking into it, it turns out that the bot actually fired 5 minutes after the announcement was made. Now why was this? Was there an issue in the code or was there something else going on in the background? Now, before we look into the actual log of the bot, well, what whatever is available from the logs, because I, I didn't expect this to be an issue, so there was no consistent logging at the time. Now there is for future references, just so we can keep track of everything that's happening and how exactly these timestamps actually work. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to say, let's have a look at the actual timestamp of this new announcement and the behavior of the coin. And sure enough, Binance made the announcement that they will be listing it at 336. And if you actually go on Coin Market Cap and you have a look at the trenches chart for the 22nd of October, you will see that at 330, so over there, the price was just nothing under three dollars. One minute later, the price just shot up, and another five minutes it almost reached its all-time high. The next step was to understand what's going on here. Why didn't the algorithm make any money and why did it trigger the buy order five minutes later? Why did it discover the announcement five minutes later in the first place? Now, is it possible that there was a Binance fluke? Is it possible that there was a mistake on their end and somehow this announcement got backdated five minutes by mistake? I guess that's possible. Is it possible that the algorithm messed up? Well, technically yes, but practically no. The algorithm has been running and checking this announcement page every 10 seconds. 
So this makes me think a little bit, who could potentially take advantage of this? Now, in theory, if a group of people wanted to take advantage of new coin listings and wanted to make bank on every single listing, well, what you would typically do is you would actually publish this announcement five minutes later, backdate it so it doesn't look like anything suspicious so that the high Binance execs don't notice that there's anything wrong going on, buy a lot of that stuff, and then you have five minutes to make bank before the rest of us go in. Now, is that a possibility? It definitely is. Did this happen? I'm not sure. Okay, so here we have the record for the sell order. As you can see, the bot actually sold this coin at 163. Well, that's not human readable time, but if you were to convert that in a human readable time, you will get 342. Obviously, I can read that because I'm a robot. We sold this coin at 342 with a minus $1.7 in loss and a relative profit of minus 17%, and the buy price was 7.9. Now, the only way that this bot would actually sell this coin at a 17% loss and 7.9 price is obviously if it would have bought it higher. Now, if you remember the chart that I shared with you before, I'm just gonna put it here, you will see that this matches up with our five minute delay. Thing is, I wasn't the only one experiencing this five minute delay. Here are some of the comments of the people who were also testing this cryptocurrency trading bot at the time. So obviously we could have just put it down to there is an error in my bot, right? And I wanted to eliminate that issue. I wanted to eliminate the fact that my build and my cryptocurrency trading algorithm could be the cause of this five minute delay that people are experiencing. So I started looking into the problem and I came across this stack overflow issue from five months ago. All right, so Beautiful Soup Web Scraper. If you don't know what Beautiful Soup Web Scraper is, it's a Python library that allows you to uh, take the page, any page that you want, and based on certain elements to scrape content from it. So in this case, this guy here was using Beautiful Soup in order, in order to scrape the announcement page and in order to get the announcement. Um, so the issue reads, Beautiful Soup Web Scraper on Binance announcement page lags behind by five minutes. He goes on to describe the issue and how eventually the time is off by five minutes, give or take. Uh, here's a quick example of the code. Now, if you know how to read Python, you will probably see that there's nothing in here that suggests that there should be a five minute delay. The only delay that we see in this guy's code is a time.sleep30. So that means that every iteration, the code will pause for 30 seconds. Again, he goes on to describe the problem and the million dollar question, why is it five minutes behind? Why does it not notify me once the website posts it? The program takes five minutes longer to recognize that there is a new post in comparison to the time posted on the website. Now, this in itself is really interesting to recognize because he's using a slightly different method of what my cryptocurrency trading bot is using to come to this conclusion. My algorithm is using a hidden unofficial Binance API endpoint, essentially scraping the JSON that populates this page. So in theory, it should be quicker. In any case, the responses are quite interesting. So first of all, the uh, one of the recommendations is that he uses that this particular strategy as well, the one that I just mentioned with the unofficial endpoint. And the next part is kind of where I'm steering towards with this whole idea of this five minute delay. It's what I think, it's either and I agree with this statement, it's either that the problem is that the Cloudfirst server is caching documents or it was done deliberately by Binance programmers, so that a narrow circle of people could react to the news faster than everyone else. So what we have here is a known issue. It's not something that is just that our bot is experiencing and it's not something that only our little Discord group of crypto traders is experiencing. This is actually an issue that people outside of the people testing this crypto bot have seen 
and have spoken. There are not a lot of results on this on Google, but if you look well enough, you will find a few results. Now, again, I don't know what to think. I don't know whether it's insider trading or whether it's actually some caching issue with a uh, Cloudflare CDN. That means that most of us who have access to this Binance announcement page are handicapped by five minutes. What's more important to remember now is that people are actually making profit on this. There are some people who managed to find the first point of truth and capitalize on those gains within the first five minutes. So who's profiting from this? That's the million dollar question. No, seriously. If all we have available, it's the official Binance announcement page that's been proven to be five minute delayed at least sometimes, then someone somewhere must be making some really good gains before this five minute delay. Now, it could be someone on the outside that just happened to find a different point of truth of where those announcements are being first made public or you can see how a lot of people on the internet would point the finger at Binance or at least some people within Binance because if you follow the money trail and if you take into account the fact that all most of us have available is the announcement page then obviously there has to be something that's pre-announced there has to be some place somewhere that most likely someone on the inside has access to where these announcements are pre-announced in some way. Again, I'm not pointing the finger at Binance and I'm not saying that Binance is definitely doing this. I'm just saying it's a little bit cheeky and a little bit sneaky. And maybe you guys know a little bit more about it than I do. Maybe there's someone who has some experience with this and um, you found out what the issue is. I've just laid out the data there and hoping that some people will happen to know more about it than I do. Well, in anticipation of another 5 minute delay, someone on GitHub has kindly pushed a nice logging system onto the tool, so now we will know exactly how everything happens down to the second. In addition to this, I've also made some stability improvements and fixes, so the tool works a little bit better than it used to. If you're willing to try this out yourself and you have a little bit of Python knowledge and basic Git skills, I will leave the GitHub link down in the description below, as well as a link to my blog that will pretty much show you how to set it all up. If you want to talk more algo trading and you're into that stuff, or you're a tech guy, join us in the Discord down below. Additionally, if you like NFTs and would like to eventually buy one and to support what I'm doing here, I will leave another Discord link for that one down below. Thank you for watching guys, I really appreciate it, massive massive thank you for helping me reach 2000 subscribers, again massive thank you to everyone who's contributed to this project on GitHub and everyone who's been engaged and troubleshoot and test this bot on Discord, thank you guys. I hope you find this video useful, if you did please click the like button and subscribe to my channel, if you didn't find this video useful you probably wasted 14 minutes of your time. Alright, Cryptomaton out. See ya!